All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We definitely appreciate you guys watching. So I got Nick here today. We're going to talk about holsters. And, uh, you know, we decided to do this video because, first of all, I want you guys to hear his opinion. You know, sometimes you guys may get tired of hearing my opinion. So <laughs> <laughs> it's good to bring somebody else. So, Nick, what's going on, man? Oh, uh, not much, man. Just, uh, yeah, dropping a lot of content, tweeting you on Twitter and uh trying to get you on instagram now yeah. you're, you're moving up in the technology stuff on, on my new account uh yeah. follow me on twitter at jar jar six there we go <laughs> so i gotta come out with like a cool way to say that you know what i'm saying so hashtag hashtag uh beardless operator <laughs> Man, so I'm... tweet tweet jar six hashtag beardless operator Oh my Brazilian God. operator, whatever. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. I got a video about this. I got a video. I called it the best concealed carry holster. I'm going to link it down below, and I show you guys a bunch of different holsters. I give you an opinion, uh, my opinion on that type of holster, but let me ask Nick. Let me see what he has to say, and we, we need to pay attention to that because the run holster could make you, first of all, could be very unsafe. And that's one of the biggest things that I see in the community. And I'm say holster could get you, you know, you could get shot by you, by your own gun. And and I know some people say that would never happen. I seen it happen. I seen people shooting themselves uh, like it's cool. You know, I saw a guy doing it, and uh, it was an accident, of course, and and it wasn't pretty. So again, you have to have a holster that is safe, and you have to have a holster that works well. And uh, Nick. What's your opinion on that, man? Well, first thing, and again, this is probably more geared to the new guys out there that uh, are just getting into concealed carry, uh, getting into holster. So the biggest thing would be, I mean, it's 2016. Your your holster should cover your trigger. That's priority number one. I know there's this clip draws, and you got one that you stick something in on the barrel in it and get away from that stuff. Number one, if... If it involves you literally putting objects into the barrel, no. If it doesn't cover the trigger guard, both sides, that's a no. That's going to be the first thing. So, uh, I mean, one holster, for example, right here, Squared Away Customs Holster, their Alpha Holster, uh, great company, uh, great holster. Um, so for me, and again, holsters are huh, everybody's, you've got to find what works for you. That's going to be, I think the biggest priority. So what I tell you that I like might not work for jarhead might not work for you. Um, the biggest thing for me, for my holsters for concealed carry is I, I want to be able to train with them. So that means the gear that I use that I carry the gun in every day, I can train with it. So for me, that means I have covered bottoms. So I don't have like some, some holsters will like cut right here. So you have exposed barrel. Um, obviously I would not want to reholster that inside the waistband because I would burn myself. Um, so that's one of my personal type of things. Um, but of course, covering the trigger guard, um, the, and the next part would be, so if, if I'm actually drawing this firearm, so if this was in my pants, I go to draw it, I don't ever touch holster. So I get a full firing grip on my gun. Um, that's why I'm not a big fan of like the hybrid. So the, the Kydex slash, uh, like leather or some other stuff. Generally on the back part, they have that that piece that comes up back here. Mm -hmm. So I literally have to try to stick my thumb either. I just have to go like on the outside of the leather or try to squeeze my thumb between the leather and the Kydex or the, the, the leather and the gun. Yep. And I don't get that full firing grip. When I want to get to my gun, nothing of my holster should obstruct me grabbing and getting a full firing grip on the gun. After that, it's going to be all, you know, personal preference. Um, obviously you make sure that you carry the right holster, make sure it's a non collapsible type of holster. So for example, this holster is form fitted to my Glock 17. I can also carry my Glock 19 in it as well. Um, but it's made for this gun. So it's specifically designed for this gun and that means it gives it retention. Um, that's going to be a big aspect too. Then the rest of it from there is really going to be personal preference. Obviously make sure that if it's an inside the waistband, it's concealable. Uh, if it's outside the waistband and you, you know, open carry uh often i would have another uh, active level of retention in it um i would stay away from serpas uh, just because you can bad things have happened so many times with serpas and then from there uh, it's going to be all personal preference but i mean it needs to cover the trigger guard it needs to not be collapsible and um from there find what works for you yeah. you, you know what you 
get ready to buy a bunch of holsters. I mean, find find out what works. Um, you know, four C tactical. So, for example, I also carry a uh, a light on my firearm. So I have to find a light bearing holster. So that works. And of course, this one works for uh, my mount up top. Man, that's a full on operator holster. Yeah, well, that's that's how we roll, you know. Um, but you got to make sure you, you buy the right holster for the right gun. So if you have a Glock 17, buy a Glock 17 holster. If you have a Glock 19, but you know, if you want, buy a Glock 19 holster, get a 17. Um, get the right holster that does what you do. So you might appendix carry. There are some companies that make specific appendix carry ones. Uh, the 4C tactical kind of can be appendix or four o'clock. Go out, try holsters, find what works for you. That's going to be something incredibly important, but it needs to cover the trigger guard. And it needs to not be a collapsible type of thing because those collapsible holsters can fall apart and then get into your trigger. And so when you go to holster, cacao, and that's never a good sound. Yeah, I agree 100% with everything you said. The only thing I'm going to add up is, uh, well, one thing. I haven't had too many too many uh, negative experience with the Serpa holsters. I have worked okay for me. But, uh, but I, there's some people out there that have done uh extremely bad with them so yeah i mean when people start talking about a product it's because something is going on um but again the only thing that i will add up to that is that not only the retention of the pistol in the holster also to have some type of, of retention to hold the holster to your body mm -hmm. a lot of times i see guys drawing that pistol and they draw the pistol with the holster <laughs> because, uh, you know what i'm saying because the holster clip or the the bell loop or whatever it is is crappy and it's not actually retaining the holster to your body so other than that you're on point man the trigger guard got to be covered the the barrel cannot you know like don't stick things up your barrel i mean no. dude, come on dude, don't do that and the trigger guard needs to be covered and, and it needs to be retained and the holster needs to be retained to your body so when you draw that pistol you don't draw the pistol on the holster i mean you're gonna have issues and i like the fact that you say that you need to get a good grip i think a lot of people go for those hybrid holsters because they're comfortable and and you know some people are looking to have something that they could carry every single day and blah 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 and you know what i'm saying little brother and little brother's watching he's a big fan of those holsters but i'm a big i mean there, there could be ones out there that don't have those issues just from my experience is the one that i've had or tried out um there's always just that back covering that goes up mm -hmm. over the oh, back over the gun to where my my thumb that goes uh, over the left side of the gun yeah um for for me for my draw anyways um i'm i have to i have to fight with that and then for me I, I don't like that um again too high quality i mean uh squared away customs 4c tactical obviously jesse's on the show i've had many 4c tactical holsters um they're great comfortable holsters um i would say also too as you look at um, like this is a very minimalist type of holster. There's not yeah. a whole lot extra going on. Um, obviously, there's a little more on this one because of the light. Uh, yeah. But again, I like covered bottoms because again, if I shoot this gun, my light will get hot, and so I want it to be covered. Uh, but again, it's one of those things you need to think about. There are the other holsters out there that are very minimalist, like the the Vanguard two and three that are just like the the mic holster, the minimalist. They just cover the trigger guard. Um, those work. However, I can't train with those. So that's why I'm not a big fan of them because I can't reholster. I have Man. to take the, the holster clip thing out, put it on and put it in my pants and reloop it or whatever. Um, that's why I am not a person to be a fan of because I like to be able to train with my carry gear. Yeah. That's an excellent point, man. Very, very good point. All right. I think we, I think we made a point on this. I appreciate everybody watching out there. Nick, you got anything going on? Uh, just putting out a lot of content and releasing videos. Um, it's about it. All right, cool, cool. Well, we appreciate you stopping by, man. And uh, as always, guys, I appreciate the support. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Put comments down below. Let us know was that that holster that is actually working out for you. Like I always say, there's a lot of people coming here to find information and, and to learn and, and to gather more information. People are seeking out, seeking out for this this type of information. So put it down there because I really appreciate you guys. Uh, uh, comments definitely follow me on twitter right nick absolutely <laughs> twitter okay. at jarhead six there we yep. go go tweet him with a uh, hashtag brazilian operator or beardless operator <laughs> all right guys i appreciate it god is in control